Eastern borders of Iran. The main transit route for narcotics produced in neighboring Afghanistan. But Iranian police confiscate 93% of the smuggled narcotics. Iran seizes two tons of narcotics every day. It has seized over 750 tons of opium in the past 11 months, up by 33% compared to last year's corresponding period. This is Iran-Afghanistan border. Iranian anti-drive forces have begun digging canals five meters deep and four meters wide in the hope that they can be able to prevent smugglers from getting through into Iranian territories. Moreover, almost 115 kilometers of barbed wires have been erected along the border. But despite such efforts, parts of the border are still penetrable, making way for narcotics to reach capital city Tehran and other big cities of Iran. We are doing our best to completely close our joint border with Afghanistan, which is the main gate for drug smuggling in the next two or three months, through constructing wall in residential areas, digging canals, installing radar systems and watchtowers. Addiction and illicit drugs have inflicted over $3 billion of damage on the country, almost equal to 15 percent of the country's oil revenues. Well, uh, this is actually the most affected uh, part of the country to trafficking from Afghanistan. So this is a key region where the partnership can uh, really implement and develop concretely on something real. But across the border in Afghanistan, the fight is not enough, with many experts blame the ongoing political instability. But ironically, what's missing is a strong willingness. According to the UNODC figures, despite the presence of coalition forces in Afghanistan, in 2008, the production of opium has reached 7,700 tons. This is one of the most dangerous places in the world. You see no day passing without any clashes between the smugglers and the Iranian anti-drug forces. 3,600 Iranian anti-narcotics forces have been killed in such clashes, with over 11,000 critically wounded. Iranian officials say the international community is not helping enough, but they stress that they will not give up the fight, whatever the cost. Samo Kujuri, Press TV, on Iran-Afghanistan border.